So while most people would agree that in order to succeed in business, you really need to grow your customer base and how you actually grow and monetize, that's a different story. This really leads us to the concept of first party data and how important it is for businesses of all shapes and sizes. So first party data is a term that refers to the specific data that you need to acquire from your customers in order for them to become valuable. So for example, if you run an online store and a customer buys something from you, then they have just given you their email address, right? And that's what we call first party data. Hello and welcome to another episode of Digital Marketing Made Simple. I'm your host, Jenny Lyon, and today I wanted to talk to you about the future of marketing, and it's in first-party data. Let's dive in. All right, so the sooner that you start thinking about collecting first-party data, the better. The reason is really simple. You need to grow your customer base to make money from them later down the line, right? So this means that you want to collect information from anyone that's visiting your website or your online store. And if someone visits your online store and places an order, then they have given you their email address. And this is a great way to start gathering that first party data. You can really use the email address to send out promotional emails in the future, which are going to allow you to keep your customers in the loop about new products and services and available promotions. So this is really going to help with that customer retention because it allows them to feel like they're getting something special from you as the business owner. So here's a little pro tip. You want to leverage your content to give value plus promotions. So no one likes to just be sold to all the time. I see this all the time. I see where people are constantly promoting, promoting, promoting on their website, on their social media, on their blogs, in their videos, promo, promo, promo. That is never going to work. Your content has to be balanced. If not, you're going to have a really high unsubscribe rate. So you want to make sure that you're combining any type of promotions with value. Always think value first. So the digital advertising ecosystem is broken because it's based on a model that was created when I first started this business 20 years ago. And the goal of this model was to help advertisers target their audiences and sell more products. And this worked really well, right? And 20 years ago, when only a few companies were competing for ad space. So I remember that when I first started this business 21 years ago, I remember that. It's a totally different landscape. And now thousands of digital ad companies and networks have flooded the market. And those low quality ads, you see them everywhere and they are annoying, right? They're very annoying. That current model doesn't correctly reward publishers for their content. And, you know, that's quickly changing. There are a few different ways that publishers, like you included, can really monetize your sites. So that's things like banner ads. Banner ads are probably the most common form of advertising on a website, but they're also the least effective because users are so used to them that they ignore them. They're almost blind to them. Then you have display ads. Display ads are more interactive than banner ads, but still don't provide as much value to either side because they aren't targeted and definitely aren't personalized. And then there's native ads. So native ads, they're designed to look more like real content. They kind of flow into the content on the website. So it makes it harder for users to ignore them. However, these ads can also be less effective because they don't incentivize users to click through. So you might want to schedule a call. You can always do so for free at jennylion.com forward slash chat if you need help figuring out where to start with the paid digital marketing. Because with over you know 20 years of experience here, I definitely know a thing or two that can really set that paid marketing plan in the right direction. 
So you as a small business owner or entrepreneur, you're really in charge, but don't actually have control. So you can choose what type of display ads or different types of ads that you want on your site, but you don't necessarily have control over how users are going to respond to them, which is a real significant catch-22 in running paid advertising. And the entire point behind paid advertising is really to collect that first-party data. But there's a catch, right? Um, you really can't learn from your mistakes or improve the quality of your ads. So to put it simply, the paid advertising industry, it's broken. It is. It's not just a problem for us, but for publishers as well. And publishers can't really monetize their inventory at scale because they lack that first party data, which really means that they don't know who their users are or what they want when they're visiting your sites. So small businesses, even the most successful ones, they often don't necessarily have a very huge budget to hire an entire team of people to help with all these digital marketing um, functionalities. Sometimes it might just be you. I hear that a lot. A lot of my clients wear all the hats. They are the business. Others might have a team member or two. You might have more than that but it can be really stressful and unsustainable. And one of the best solutions really is to hire like a virtual team like ours. We can really be that like, you know, virtual virtual assistant, digital marketing team down the hall for you. So it's definitely something to consider. And you can always check out, again, I have a lot of resources on this, but if you check out jennylion.com forward slash VA team, you can learn a lot more about how you can really optimize that. All right, so consumers, they do control their own data, right? So they have the power to control it. And if they don't want their information used for any particular purpose, then they can decline consent. They can opt out of certain services. And this really has turned the marketing world upside down, especially with the iOS 14 yeah, that update that was released. Consumers, they can look for these options now more than ever. So they want to be able to control how their data is used. And I don't blame them. I want that same control. But every company really should make it easy for people to manage their own personal data so that they don't feel pressured into sharing information with you that they don't want to. And, you know, you also need to be transparent about how you process their data and provide full access, you know, to that algorithm so that consumers can really understand what information is being collected and used and how. So first party data is really going to reignite digital advertising. That's really where the future is. And companies really do want to start investing now, you know, through that customer interaction, you can really gain valuable insight into what people are doing, how they interact with your brand, because this is going to help you target your ads. It's going to lead to much more relevant messaging that's going to drive engagement and that's going to drive sales. And in the future, data will become more transparent and much more easy to understand, which is what consumers have been asking for. Consumers will be able to see what information is being collected from them, how it's being used, and who has access to it. So digital marketing, it's already taken a massive turn in this direction, and you're just going to see more and more of it in the year to come. And this level of transparency, it really does help your audience to make informed decisions about the kinds of products that they purchase, which brands they want to support with their time and their money. And as the internet continues to grow and become more sophisticated, then you really need to be able to understand what your customers want. And you're going to start to be able to understand that in a much better way, which is going to help you to provide them with more relevant content, which is going to allow businesses like yours to better connect with those potential clients and increase your overall revenue. Okay, so I know that was a lot and it's a lot of information about first party data, but what we really learned today is that the sooner that you start thinking about how you're collecting that data, the better. 
So look at your website and really look at what information you're collecting and how can you use that information to better that overall experience for your audience. And digital advertising is kind of broken right now because it is based on a model that was created when I first started this business over 20 years ago. So you're not really in charge of what ads are displayed on your sites and you really don't have control over how users respond to them, which is definitely a catch-22. So you want to make sure that your consumers, your audience has the power to control their own data. The future of digital advertising is really in that first party data and companies need to start investing now. So the takeaway is, is that first party data, it's going to be key for you and your business for marketing and advertising. So the more information that you can collect, the better, because that can really help you to understand your customers and deliver them with the content that they want. So whether that means that you're segmenting your list, you know, like for my business, if someone comes to my website and they're consuming content about website audits, I want to make sure that they're segmented that way because then I can send them more content that's going to help them with their website, right? And takeaway number two is that consumers are becoming more active participants in the marketing. So instead of just passively um, watching ads, your audience really is going to see content that helps them make better decisions about what they buy and where they want to spend their money. And then takeaway number three is that your audience wants more control over their privacy. They want to be able to choose whether or not that they participate in marketing campaigns and which companies have access to their data. And then last but not least is that the industry really needs better standards for measuring performance across channels so that we can really accurately access and really assess what's going to work best for each brand. So get ready, quarter one of 2023, it's it's here, right? And to set you up for the best possible success, please reach out. I'd be happy to jump on a call at jennylion.com forward slash chat. Make sure that you do download the digital marketing um, workbook that I have. It really helps you to see the different areas in your business that maybe you do need help with. Maybe you need help from our digital marketing team. Maybe you need help from our virtual assistant team. You know, what is it that you're going to need now to really not only implement everything that we talked about today, but how are you going to grow your business and really move to that next level in this new year. And if I can ask for a favor, if you haven't already, can you please take a moment to subscribe to the podcast and maybe even share it with a friend? That would be amazing. I would absolutely love that. I've been getting so much great feedback from you guys about the podcast and you know how much you're loving the information. So thank you for that. And if you share it, thank you again. And as always, I hope that you found these tips helpful. And I will see you next time on another episode of Digital Marketing Made Simple. See you soon.